Decentralization is the process through which an organization's tasks are distributed or delegated away from a central, in charge location or group, particularly those related to planning and decision making. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. What is decentralization? Decentralization, what is it? Decentralization is a particular type of organizational structure in which the top management assigns daily tasks and decision-making authority to intermediate and lower employees. As a result, top management has more time to focus on making important decisions. Decentralization is frequently felt to be necessary by business organizations in order to maintain operational efficiency. Today, we'll examine the fundamental benefits and drawbacks of decentralization from an organizational standpoint. Now, let's discuss some of the advantages of decentralization. Number 1. Motivation of subordinates. Particularly among the lower level managers, decentralization boosts staff morale and job satisfaction. Additionally, it tries to meet the various standards for status, independence, and engagement. Decentralization also fosters a sense of community and camaraderie. Number 2. Growth and diversification. Every product division achieves sufficient autonomy to use their creative flair under decentralization. The top-level management can foster healthy rivalry among the various divisions in this way. Decentralization supports subordinates in using their own judgment, which must be kept in mind when weighing the benefits and drawbacks of the system. They even help to solve the succession issue and build managerial abilities, which in turn ensures the survival and expansion of a firm. Number 3. Quick Decision Making the fact that decisions are made and carried out by authorized employees is a significant indicator of both the benefits and drawbacks of decentralization. As a result, decisions are made more quickly and accurately while taking into account the actual situation. Number 4. Efficient Communication Decentralization reduces the number of hierarchical levels by allowing for a wider range of administration. As close bonds between leaders and subordinates grow, this improves the effectiveness of the communication system. Number 5. Ease of expansion. Decentralization might slow down a rising company's expansion efforts. The opening of new company units in various geographical regions may frequently be the outcome of this. Decentralization allows an organization to operate at its highest capacity and respond quickly to regional needs. Number 6. Better supervision and control. Lower level supervisors have the authority to change job assignments and production schedules. They may even recommend that their peers be promoted and take disciplinary action. Greater supervisory efficiency follows from this. Each dispersed unit's performance review aids in ensuring effective control. Number 7. Satisfaction of human needs. Decentralization is a key strategy for addressing our fundamental demand for autonomy, dominance, prestige, and status. This contentment creates a cadre of contented managers who feel accountable for the advancement of the business. Number 8. Relief to top executives. If lower level employees assume all the obligations, top executives can concentrate more on executive level tasks like planning and decision making. This lessens their workload, which ultimately benefits the organization as a whole. Now, let's discuss some of the disadvantages of decentralization. Number 1. Difficult to coordinate. When discussing the benefits and drawbacks of decentralization, it is important to keep in mind that each division has a great deal of autonomy. In turn, this makes it challenging to organize the entire action. Number 2. External factors. Gaining the most from decentralization may be impossible due to the trade union movement, market turbulence, and government involvement. Number 3. Narrow product lines. Decentralized product lines must be sufficiently broad in order for autonomous units to thrive inside them. This might not be very useful for small businesses with limited product offerings. The difficulty quotient is increased by the absence of qualified managers at lower levels of the company. Number 4. Expensive. Every person in a decentralized organization has responsibility for the success of the company, which motivates them to put in more effort to meet all corporate goals. They must receive more compensation in exchange, which can be highly costly for the business. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.